Fly time! So behold, the manifestation of about three weeks of research and rewrites. Why has Ultra Muscle been released on DVD? <clears throat> so for those who don't know, Ultra Muscle, the Kinikuman Legacy, is the second English adaptation of the Japanese franchise Kinikuman. More specifically, it's the name of the English dub of the second series, Kinikuman Nisei. Here's the thing though, the English dub of the anime was handled by for Kings Entertainment. But get this, people actually liked it. A lot. No, no seriously, Ultimate Muscle was actually so much more popular than Nika Nisei that 4 Kings pulled up the money for a second season when it was originally going to be cancelled. And that sounds weird, given the fact that 4 Kids had stopped dubbing shows before they completed, like Yu-Gi-Oh! GX or for the real anime fans, Tokyo Mewish. But 4 Kids did produce the 2003 Ninja Turtles show and the Yu-Gi-Oh! Capital Monsters movie, so funding another season of a TV show wouldn't be too out of place. I mean, Saban did the same thing with the Power Rangers back in the 90s. You're probably thinking, Wow, Blend Loser, this show sounds interesting! How do I watch it? Uh, well... Now, if you're looking for a legit way to watch this show, then your options are very limited. The original Kinikuman Nisei has been released on DVD, but only in Japan. That means there are no English subtitles, only a Region 2 DVD player, and a few hundred dollars just to import all the DVDs from Japan. Ultra Muscle has it even worse. There's only one DVD released with the first four episodes, and that was it. There was a second DVD planned, but it was never released. Now, I find that really weird, considering the fact that 4Kids has funded the second season, but hey, I'm not a businessman, and 4Kids wasn't exactly known for its good business practices, let you alone know, DVD releases. And don't bother looking for on Crunchyroll or Netflix or something. I can't find any official streaming services that the show subbed or dubbed. So, here's what I know about the timeline. Ultra Muscle first aired in 2002, and the series concluded in 2004, with free runs still occasionally airing afterwards. According to one of my commenters, Gary Gilbrovic, hopefully that's that right, Ultra Muscle's last reruns were shown in 2010 on the Kicks channel. In 2011, Four Kids went bankrupt due to a lawsuit involving the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise, it's a really long story, and they lost the rights to almost all the shows that they had licensed. If Four Kids hadn't lost the rights to Kinikuman Nisei before that point, they lost it then. Now, you might be wondering, who owns the rights now? Well, full disclosure here, anime licensing is complicated. I'm not sure if I really understand it, but here's what I can figure out. The rights for broadcasting anime on TV, hosting on a streaming service, and printing it on DVDs and Blu-ray are all separate. When the contract, or contracts, expire, all the rights go back to the original owner or owners. Okay, so we know that 4 Kids had at least had gotten the rights for the DVDs and for airing on TV. So there couldn't be a rights problem that they've all gone back to the original owner or owners. But now the new problem. Who are the original owner or owners? Toei? I mean, the commenter Foxbox one of some awesome did ask me if Toei owned the rights, and they tell and they do send me copyright notices from the Ultimate Muscle stuff I released. But what about Shueisha? They're the parent company of Shonen Jump and Viz Media. What would look how at least the manga publishing rights to Kingdom Man would say? Did they have a say in this? What about the current incarnation of Four Gates? Konami Cross Media in New York. Even if they don't have the rights to Kingdom Man you say, they still hold the rights to the dub? Well, about Bandai? They made the Kinnikuman Command toys. Does some tell have any say in this? I... I really don't know. And don't think I didn't try to find out. I sent Viz Media, Discotech, and Toe an email 
asking if they have the right to insult the muscle, had any plans of releasing in the future, or at least when we did, but none of them ever responded to me. Admittedly, I don't belong to any sort of anime company, so that's probably appropriate, but hey, I tried. Oh, and uh, I tried looking, but the closest thing to a Konami Cross Media New York email was back from the 4 kids days, and it's long dead. Uh, if anyone has any info, just let me know, because my best guess is Croatia, Toei, Viz, and whoever else are all just sitting on the rights and have no plans to release the film with a dub anytime soon. Well, now what? Maybe we could make a petition to our interest or something. I don't know. I mean, the least whoever's in charge could do is put Ultra Muscle on a streaming service since it's already been put, since it's already been translated to English. Now, I'm not trying to promote piracy or whatever, and I think you always support the official release when it's available, but with no official way to watch the rest of the series, the legalities in the same boat as a lot of lost media, and Godzilla 1985. So unless you know a guy who recorded the series when it was airing, and or have a time machine, then that means... Just like a samurai and a L-A-D-Y Nami's not shy The pirate crew coming through Doing their thing with the king of the pirates He's gonna be king Dino, Dino, Dino Oh-oh, set sail the water